What is up, my fellow metalheads? It's Metalhead Friday. We're finally checking out for the first time in my life Slayer. Of course, I've heard of Slayer. The way I heard of them, I remember that they went to Chile when I was a kid. And I just remember seeing all over the news just how Chile was going freaking insane with these guys being here. Well, there, I freaking live in Utah now. Let's do it. We're checking out Slayer War Ensemble. Thank you for the suggestions. If you want to give some more, a lot of people send uh, don donations and tips uh, to the channel, and that's how we're doing this one today. There's also a link there to go in and put in your, suggest your suggestions and upvote other people's. And I definitely try to prioritize those uh, from uh, patrons on Patreon, and the link to my Patreon is down below. It's fair, but reaction channels, we can't uh, make money off of uh, copyrighted stuff, which, again, it's fair. We're just talking and analyzing someone else's creativity and work. So to those that provide support by, again, using those, those means, thank you so much. As is common, I actually try to uh, look through the meaning of the lyrics. I tend to try too hard to look deep into it. But who cares? That's who I am. Slayer, War Ensemble. Let's, uh, let's roll it. First time listening to Sarah. Let's see what we got. The stadium. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is freaking metal, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bro, this is insane. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Sorry. Getting overwhelmed. Holy frick. They have something important to say. So stay with me as we listen to the video. After we're, after we're done, uh, let's talk about the lyrics. If you were to need a picture or video to explain to someone who, uh, let's say an alien, to explain to them what heavy metal is, you will show them Slayer. Love that transition. Oh my gosh! Here we go! Dude, that Jack the Solo is beautiful, bro. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, pausing. A five minute song of a song at uh, 206 beats per minute. What the frick? 206 beats per minute seems a little high. I'm saying here also maybe 99, per percent, 99 beats per minute in a G major. Bro, these guys have something interesting to say. I hope this isn't an insulting comparison to make, but this is just my mindset. But the substance of the songs, uh, to me, feels Rage Against the Machine-esque. 
This is insane, dude. My heart rate is like way up listening to the song. And it's not because I'm walking. <laughs> like throwing around my dog guts in here. Nice. Feels like a sped up. I love this riff. song viewing and describing war as a sport sports typically being games and what is the purpose of the game kill more people than the other to a point where the other surrenders right the song just makes you feel very uh it reminds you of the atrocities and horrors of war and it may rec it makes reference to the propaganda and everything and these sort of the things that lead us to this to this war War is a tragic, chaotic thing, and I feel like that song just expresses it through, yes, the lyrics and the intensity of the song. Holy frick. Let's look up the context of the song. On October 14, 1990, at London's Wembley Arena, Slayer attempted to shoot their first ever music video. The song in question was War Ensemble, and the plan was for the band, get up, and the plan was for the band to mime to the studio version of the track in front of the 12,000 fans that had gathered to see them perform as part of the Autumn's Clash of Titans package, along with Megadeth, Testament, and Suicidal Tendencies. Don't know Testament and Suicidal Tendencies? I know Megadeth. The problem started when Tom Araya announced this plan to the crowd, who immediately began booing. See, I told you they weren't going to go for it, he said to the director in the wings. Plan B was hastily arranged, which saw the band playing the track live while attempting to keep it as close to the studio original as possible. It worked. Not only this, but War Ensemble's credentials as a bona fide war song were established when soldiers were reported to have listened to it during a bona fide war, Seasons in the Abyss. Which soldiers? Seasons in the Abyss opening number was a favorite among U.S. soldiers in the Operation Desert Storm Assault in Iraq in 1991. Yeah, if I were to be drafted to a war, that would, yeah, that would be a good cathartic uh, song to kind of get you in the mood, right? Yeah, that was intense. It was freaking awesome. My favorite thing about metal is this feeling right now after listening to something so intense. So it's like you're working out and you're putting all this pressure on your muscles. And then finally, when you're done and they relax, you feel like extra relaxed. Feel that way with, with heavy metal. Let's go in. Let's feel this anger. And then once we release it, yeah, that feels good. Should we check out some more Slayer? Let me know. Click on the link down below for those suggestions. Become a patron. Patreon gives you access to the Discord server. 
Metalhead Friday, man. It's becoming a lot of fun. And thank you, Slayer. Wow. Till the next one. Peace out, guys.